In this video, given a random plane, given a random plane, we can work out the shortest distance from the origin to the plane. So our job is to find this location here where this length will be at its shortest. So let's start. So I'm expecting you to already know this. If you have um, A, B and C, then the, uh, the, the distance from one end to the other, the diagonal distance, would be given by this. I'm expecting you to already know this. Okay, so let's start again. So given the plane, given a plane, um, I don't know what the plane looks like. I'm just going to imagine the plane looks like this in 3D space. Um, our job is to um, create a function where you input x and y, and then it would do whatever it has to do to work out the, the length from the origin to a point on that plane. So for example, let's say you've gone two across and three in the in the um, y direction so the coordinates here will be um, two across three and you're at an elevation of zero you have, once you know x and y you can always jump to the plane by making z the subject so make z the subject that will then give you this and then you so once you know x and y once you know x and y you, you can always jump to the height. So put this into here, that will give you 6. Put this into here, that will give you 6. So 6 plus 6 will be 12. Take away 5, that will be 7. So you're at, an, at a height of 7. So this point here will be 2, 3, 7. And then once you know 2, 3, 7, you can always use Pythagoras in 3D to work out the, um, the distance from the origin. So the distance from the origin is given by this. The point is that you're playing about with x and y, so you're on the xy plane. So no, no matter where where you are on the xy plane, you can always jump to um, to the surface. And once you know the precise location, you you know the x, y, and z location. You can work out the diagonal length. So the diagonal length is given by this. The diagonal length is given by x squared y squared and this here is your z location uh, this is your your elevation you square it that will then give you the length so you're trying to minimize the length you're trying to minimize this whole thing here so when when you're trying to minimize um, some you when you try and minimize this just concentrate on minimizing what's inside the square root because the minute you minimize what's inside the square root, you will automatically minimize the whole thing. So I'm just saying, let W be what's inside the square root. I'm just going to try and minimize this. The minute I minimize this, I will automatically minimize the whole thing. Okay, so I'm, I'm just going to concentrate on minimizing this thing here. So um, our, our, our job now is to find the, um, the lowest point our job is to minimize this so we need to uh, tidy this thing up so multiply this whole thing out that will then give you this whole thing and then tidy it tidy up the whole thing that will then give you this thing here remember we're trying to minimize this whole thing so uh, so imagine this as being like some sort of surface imagine w x and y we're trying to minimize it, so we're trying to find the lowest point. So remember, we've done this before. We um, we slice this in the x direction. Hang on, we're trying to find the lowest point here. So slice it in the x direction, slice it in the y direction. If you're truly at the lowest point, then, then this thing here equals zero, this thing here equals zero. We've done this before, so to locate this point here, we need to demand this. So now take the partial derivative of this with respect to x. That will then give us this. And then take the partial derivative with respect to y. So why is this f? It's a mistake. So hang on. This should be... This should be y. Okay, hang on. Hang on. This should be y. So, um, so hang on. So take the partial derivative of both, so that will then give us this thing here, and then, and then let me think, 
and then we demand that this thing equals zero and this thing equals zero. So put zero into here and into here. That will then give us this. And then it's just a matter of finding out um, uh, x and y such that both of these are equal to zero simultaneously. So we're just trying to find combinations of x and y such that these two equations equal zero simultaneously. So solving, solving, um, well, blah, 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 blah. It turns out that um, x equals this. It turns out x equals this. Once you know x, you can work backwards to find y. So uh, once you know x, hang on. So, uh, well, once you know x, you can always find y. So um, take my word for it that um, y equals this thing here. Okay, so x equals this, y equals this. Once we know x, once we know y, we can uh, work out z. So put this into here, put this into here. So so the z location, the z value will be this. Okay, so, so we know x, we know x, we know y. If we know x and y, we can always jump to the plane. So the height will be given by that. So if you punch this into a graphical, um, 3D graphical um, plotter, it will then give you this. So we know this location. So that, that location A there is given by this. So that's the, um, the shortest distance from the origin, from the origin to the plane. Okay? So your answer is given by this. It's given by this. Okay?